Hello everyone. Today in the beauty room we're going to be talking about things that you can do to help your teeth appear whiter. Now the thing is with your teeth is as you age your teeth really do worsen and certainly from my own experience that's what's happened to me. I've actually lost quite a number of teeth. I do have a number of um, caps on my teeth and I do remember losing the front of my teeth early on and I had to have a cap on that as well. So I've had a real journey with my teeth actually and I'm sure a lot of others have also. And we know that going to the dentist, you know, it, we really have to go and have checkups every six months to make sure that our teeth are in good condition because if you lose your teeth then I tell you what, drastic things start to change in your life. So today I'm talking about how to look after your teeth and how to keep your teeth white. Now why do teeth discolour? There are a number of reasons why teeth discolour. It could be from food, from beverages, from coffee, from you know red wine, from the food that you eat, from certainly smoking cigarettes and tobacco will discolour your teeth. And also these sorts of things can erode your teeth as well. And also they erode the enamel on your teeth. And when the enamel is eroded, it becomes very, very, very sensitive. So I do have some tips for you today and I hope that it will help you. Now remember with the beauty room, I give you ideas, take what you want from it and discard the rest. I'm happy for you to do that because a lot of these things don't suit people and you can always try it, but if it doesn't suit you, it doesn't suit you and that's fine with me and I'm sure it's fine with everyone else. How to get whiter teeth. Now, we all know that there's many over-the-counter products that you can get from a chemist or a drugstore or whatever you call a chemist in a drugstore in your world. You can go there and get those. A lot of those are to do with chemicals and a lot of those chemicals can desensitize your teeth in a way that they could erode the enamel. So you have to be really super careful when you're using those products. The other thing is you can go to the dentist and the dentist can, you can do some teeth whitening with the dentist. There are two ways you can do that with the dentist. You can do it in the chair. In Australia it costs about $700 and it's not covered by dental insurance. Or you can do it for around $400 and use trays of a night time. And I was looking into it myself and I sort of opted for none of it because it was a little bit too expensive and I didn't have an easy lazy $700 just to give to the dentist to whiten my teeth. There are a couple of products that I would not recommend. Now one of the things I do not recommend is baking soda. Baking soda can be quite harsh on, just on the teeth and it can actually erode your tooth. Now I know this from experience because I used to use baking soda a lot to clean my teeth with and one morning I woke up and I went to clean my teeth and my tooth, I'll show you here, my tooth here, right there, had completely eroded away. It was completely jagged and open and I had this huge gap in my tooth. And I was horrified and I just had to get into the dentist right there and then. And fortunately they were fantastic. They got me in and they put a cap, a cap of sorts on my tooth to stop it from er eroding any further. And they molded it and made it look like my teeth. Now that happened probably I'd say a good 30 years ago that happened and I haven't had any more problems with that tooth in the fact that there's been no more erosion, no more, it just it just actually fell away and honestly with my teeth I was horrified. So in my experience I wouldn't use baking soda for an extended period of time because it could damage your teeth. The other thing I would not use is hydrogen peroxide. Now out in the market, you know, out on the internet, a lot of people say use hydrogen peroxide. Now I don't believe in using that either because my feeling on that is it could also erode the enamel. Uh, hydrogen peroxide is a really strong substance, a really strong chemical and I personally would not use it. Also you've got the problem of it going into your mouth and you could swallow it and it is a poison. The other thing is is that over extended use using peroxide you can actually damage your gums really badly. So I would not use either of those products. Okay that's and that's just my personal thing but I wouldn't use them because really I've seen the damage that it can do and I just would not recommend it. 
There are other products that you can use, however. So for the natural ways of doing it first is you can use strawberries. Strawberries are amazing little bundle of joy and bundle of goodness and really the more strawberries you eat just for general health really they are so good for you so there are three compounds that strawberries contain i'm sure there are other there would be other things as well but these are three things that will help your teeth the first thing is folic acid now folic acid is amazing for cleaning the teeth and exfoliating the teeth and it will take off all of that grime and all those little bumps and things and help polish your teeth and it gives the appearance of your teeth looking whiter it really helps your teeth to look whiter there's vitamin C that is part of strawberries and what vitamin C do is help remove the plaque also there's malic acid in strawberries and what this compound does is help bleach the teeth it is the most natural way to help whiten your teeth so you can include it in your meal of the night time, just munch on a few after your dessert or for dessert. You can use it anytime you want, eat them anytime you want. You can also mash it up and clean your teeth with it that way is one way that you can use it. So you can mash it and clean your teeth. You can just eat it or you can just cut it in half and rub it across your teeth. So strawberries are fantastic and also they taste amazing. I love strawberries. Here where I live, we have this beautiful strawberry farm and they make the most amazing, delicious, sweet strawberries. And I go down there all the time to get them because I love them. So we're very lucky to have strawberries here where I live. The next thing you can try to use is banana rinds. Banana rinds are packed with amazing nutrients for your teeth. There's nitrogen, Phosphorus, calcium, potassium, sodium, manganese, iron. There's so many things in banana rinds that will help whiten your teeth. How you would use a banana rind is take a ripe banana, peel it, use the inner part of the peel, rub it on your teeth for two minutes. So you've got quite a long amount to use. So just use it all on your teeth for two minutes, rinse it off and do that twice a day. And you'll find that your teeth will start to get looking quite white. The next thing that is really good for your teeth is oil pulling with coconut oil. Now coconut oil is used for a lot of things for your body and it's got an amazing use everywhere uh, for our body but it is very good for your teeth and it's called oil pulling. So what you would do is put it in your mouth and swirl it in your mouth and just suck it in and out with your cheeks and all of that around your teeth and what this does because it's got lauric acid and what lauric acid does is help break down the bacteria that causes the yellowing of the teeth so naturally if you are doing this oil pulling and you do that for five minutes a day because it's hard to get used to because when I started doing it I would gag a bit and uh, I wasn't quite used to doing it but what it will do is it will pull out all of those uh, all of that bacteria in your teeth because there is quite a lot of bacteria in your teeth and this is why you have to have very good oral hygiene because if you don't it will destroy your teeth so you need to use things like this to help heal your teeth and help keep them strong. So the best time to do oil pulling is when you wake up in the morning using a, a tablespoon of coconut oil, put it into your mouth and swish it around for about five minutes, spit it out and then just clean your teeth as normal. And then if you do that of a daytime in the morning as a morning routine and get used to it, your teeth will start to look amazing. They really will and there's so many so much information on the internet about oil pulling and coconut oil I would really encourage you if you're having trouble with your teeth to go and research that and it might help you so the last thing I have is activated charcoal now activated charcoal can be used for so many things it's such a great thing for your body so at what activated charcoal does is it actually when you're using it even if you're taking it in tablet form or you're taking it in powder form what it does is it binds toxins to the charcoal and it just binds them there and it pulls it out of your body now the only thing that the disclaimer that I give you about this is it also pulls out the good stuff so you don't want to do this too often you don't want to take charcoal tablets too often because it can also pull out the good things that we need in our body. 
So activated charcoal for your teeth is wonderful for whitening your teeth because what it does do is, as I was saying, it binds things, it binds all the plaque and debris in your mouth, it binds it all together, it comes together and then you just spit it out. And basically what it does is it absolutely whitens the teeth. Now my also disclaimer on charcoal, activated charcoal, is when you do clean your teeth with it, clean it with toothpaste. Don't clean it just with activated charcoal on the toothbrush. I would really not recommend that. I would recommend using the toothpaste, but it does make it a bit more gentle when you're actually cleaning your teeth. The other thing activated charcoal does is that it stops uh, bad breath. And that is such a bonus because sometimes you use your toothpaste and you use your uh, mouthwash or whatever it is that you're using, and it just doesn't stop that. So activated charcoal will will reduce bad breath for you. It's a, it's a really good product. Now the only thing about activated charcoal is that it does stain your toothbrush. These are the things that it says on labels. But also, if you have veneers on your teeth, it will stain the veneers. So if that happens, you will have to stop using it or stop using it for a while and clean it off and then give it another go. Now, activated charcoal, I guess you need to find your own way with it and how uh, how to use it, whether it works for you or not. I think it's a great thing and I would really encourage you again to do your own research because the Beauty Room is about giving you ideas and tips and tricks but also giving you topics for you to go and research for yourself to see if it suits you also. Also in Try It Peter coming up on Friday I do have a, I do have some activated charcoal that I am going to try and I would really love you to go and have a look at it because then I can give you my recommendation as to whether it will actually work or not and what it's like using it. So I really encourage you to go and watch Try It Peter on Friday when it comes up. Okay, please do remember to subscribe to the channel because when you subscribe you get all these great updates. Go ahead and give me a like because that really helps me in the ranks of YouTube. Alright guys, thanks so much. You have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you next time. Bye.